Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then hello! So I'm super excited about this video like I am for every video but I'm super excited for this specific video and the few videos that will be coming out in the future on my channel because all those videos are gonna be focusing on emerald tree skinks. As you can see I have one of my little friends here now. This is Bean. He is uh, one of my males who's very friendly and he likes to come out all the time so I thought he you could uh, join me for the intro. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Where are you going? Um, hello. <laughs> So as you guys know, I already have a general care video for my emerald tree skinks, but I thought I would make kind of like a mini series of different videos focusing on different topics that I have covered and may not have covered in the general care video and going more into depth on those topics. Basically, I'd like to try to go over some commonly asked questions, which is why today's video is going to be about one of the most commonly asked questions that I think I get and that is about enclosure size and housing. The first thing that you're going to need to do when you get a new pet reptile is get a house for it. So what size enclosure should an emerald tree skink uh, tank be? There isn't a one size fits all for emerald tree skinks. One more thing that I wanted to add before we start the video is that I am filming this intro way in the future. I filmed a lot of this footage kind of way back uh, at the end of last year, beginning of this year. So there's been a lot of changes, but you'll start seeing those changes as new videos come out. If you like this video, then be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see updates on my pets and videos like this in the future. In this room, I actually have quite a few tanks uh, dedicated to emerald tree skinks. So right here is my adult tank that's currently breeding for me. And then over here and over here, I have some emerald tree skink babies that I'm really excited to show you guys. And then I have one more emerald tree skink tank right there. That's a work in progress. So information for emerald tree skinks is starting to become more common, but can still be hard to find. They're an amazing pet reptile as we already know but how much space does this little lizard actually need it is important to make sure this species gets as much room as possible as they're very active and will use as much room as you allow them to in this case they've actually taken up quite a bit of my room one of the largest enclosures in this room is indeed dedicated to my emerald tree skinks can a tree skink tank be too big no and yes but that is why I'm gonna go into somewhat of an order of what I recommend for juvenile, sub-adult, and adult tree skinks. So on top of one of my PVCs, I have uh, what I like to, I guess, call the hatchling enclosure. So this is when they first come out of the egg and I find them in the adult's tank. I will capture them and then I put them into this little enclosure here. I believe this is a 12 by 12 by 12. Um, I actually got it secondhand, so it has like this cute little cat sticker on it. And as of right now, I just have two hatchlings in here. They were born about two or three weeks ago now. So on top of it, I just have um, one of the Reptisun UVBs here. And then on top at the back, I have one of the uh, Zoomed Dual Nanodomes. Inside of that, I just have, I think it's like a 25 watt heat bulb and one of the Zoomed LED nano lights to go in here. And that gives them a really good hot spot of around 90 degrees Celsius in the back. I'm still trying to get some of the plants to grow in here, but they look like they're doing fairly well, except for the creeping fig there. I have a fake plant in the back there for them to also hide. Then I also have a feeding ledge here. I do need to get them a new one though, because this one's a little old. Then there's a cork background uh, for them to climb on, and they do actually really like to climb on the background here. For soil, I just have, I think, a mix of like eco earth and some repti soil in here. And they do love to dig around in the dirt a little bit as well. But yeah, this is my super simple hatchling enclosure. Um, they're usually in here for only about two months at most. Um, by the time they're of age to go to new homes, they're usually gone pretty quickly. Oh my God, guys, 
as I'm filming this video, a tree skink baby hatched. Look, newborn, and there's dad, ready to eat him. I'll save you, little buddy. Don't worry. OMG, guys, I can't believe I just found a baby tree skink while I was filming. How freaking cool is that? Look how stinking cute. He honestly probably isn't the happiest with me right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and put him into the hatchling tank that I just showed you guys. He honestly doesn't look like a hatchling. He looks like he's actually like a good few weeks old. I wonder if he's been living in there for a bit. All right, let's go put him in. Hopefully he does well in here. I wonder if he's got a hatch mate. I'll have to keep an eye out. When they become more established after that month's time, I keep them in this 12 by 12 by 18 enclosure. These guys were just born in December, so they're about two months old. I still keep this setup pretty simple, and you will want to at this age, as I've heard of accidents happening with things such as uh, cork rounds and removable tank backgrounds, just basically getting themselves stuck in small spaces and not being able to get out. So just be careful with that, guys. So I just have a little magnetic ledge in here right now with some water and food. Then I also just got some sticks and vines and just some super simple plants as well that I put in here. I just have this pothos and a snake plant. I would also suggest putting a background on your enclosure. If you can cover all three sides of the enclosure like I've done here, that would be even better. They don't understand glass very well, just like most reptiles, but they do love to sometimes jump out at you and the less see-through areas, the less of a chance you'll get of them jumping at the glass and possibly hurting themselves. They also love climbing on the backgrounds too. You could also go for a 12 by 12 by 36 as well. I've housed about two to four emerald tree skinks in these enclosure sizes, but you could probably get away with two more when they're babies as they don't seem to mind each other's company and sharing space. I have some older babies in here that were born in October and they're around three months now and we'll be getting to a sub adult size in just a few more months. More established young tree skinks, I'd say you should aim for a 10 to 20 gallon enclosure that has some height to it would be suitable. These little ones here will be going to a new home though soon to someone who I know is going to be very generous with their enclosure size. Moving on to sub-adult enclosures, Emma Sampson just upgraded her tree skinks to an 18 by 18 by 18 enclosure that she did a lovely job on. I want to show you guys an example of what her enclosure looks like for reference, and I feel that's a pretty good enclosure size for a sub-adult. You can even go for an 18 by 18 by 24 for slightly bigger sub-adults or even a 36 tall version of that as well. You can start to add more elaborate decorations slowly as well around this age since accidents are less likely to happen now that they They've grown to a certain size but still keep an eye on them and use your judgment i would say about two to four skinks would do well in these enclosure sizes and you'll want to keep it around 20 to 50 gallons with height again in mind so this enclosure here is an 18 by 18 by 18 to give you guys kind of a reference for the size difference my long-tailed grass lizards are in this enclosure lastly the adult enclosure size. How much space does an adult emerald tree skink take up? I will always encourage people to have a minimum of a pair of emerald tree skinks. This is just because of how much they seem to benefit off of having another skink around. So if you have a pair, I would say ideally an enclosure the size of 24 by 18 by 24 inches or even a 36 tall would be needed. Some may say that you can get away with something smaller. I haven't kept mine in anything smaller, so I can't say for sure, but this enclosure size would be a great size for a pair of emerald tree skinks. I currently have just one in here. I have a colony of five skinks when I first started, but found out I had three males. 
So when breeding season came around, there was a bit of tension. I rehomed my one male to a friend who I'm able to keep in contact with, and the other one I have in here. He is alone, but he won't be alone for long, as I am on the lookout for a sexed female for him, so I will eventually have a pair in this enclosure. In the meantime, I interact with him and take him out a lot, as he likes to explore my reptile room. I'm going to be doing a DIY background on this soon. The videos that will be coming out in the next few weeks will be showcasing this upgraded vivarium that I made for my tree skinks here. But here's a little sneak peek quickly at what that looks like. But if you have a trio or more of emerald tree skinks, like I have here, then you'll want to keep them in a 36 by 18 by 36. I know this is the enclosure size I saw being used by the bio dude, Clint's reptiles, and other keepers when I was looking at housing for my guys. And I would say it's a great size for an adult tree skink colony. This ensures that your skinks have enough space to jump and scurry, hide and explore, and overall keep them pretty happy. Maximum amount of skinks you'd want to house together I'd say is maybe around 5 or 6 in this enclosure size. Definitely would not do more than that, but I just have a trio with no plans to add anymore. So in the adult closure here, I have lots of live plants and greenery going on, lots of branches and twigs, some other fun decor items. I'll make a tree skink enrichment video that'll come out as this mini series unfolds. I also got this LED UVB combo light too for their health to grow the plants and for visual purposes. I also just have a spare heat bulb in the back corner over there to give them a bit of a warmer hot spot since this enclosure is a little bit bigger. And lastly, it is bioactive like all of my other vivariums. So yeah guys, that's how I like to house all of my emerald tree skinks right from when they hatch out of the egg all the way to when they're full grown adults. I hope people can see that these are just my personal recommendations and it's in the best interest of the skinks, but the more space, then the more merry. I hope that some people were able to find this video a little bit helpful. Some people may agree or disagree, but this is just what I felt has worked for me and my emerald tree skinks. I will be having more emerald tree skink content coming out soon, and I really look forward to posting those videos and sharing everything with you guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Stay with weird everyone. Hi Natasha editing. This is Jacob in present time. I know you're going to be hearing this while you're editing, but you won't put any of this in the video. So hi. <laughs>